Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 7th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This may or may not be for you. This is not sign specific. So this is for somebody. I don't know who. We're just going to see what comes up. These readings don't always resonate with me. So, you know, that doesn't mean that they're always going to resonate with you. Okay, so let's just see what happens. It may or may not be for you. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. Let's see what comes up. The seventh. The seventh. Hmm. Judgment. Perfect. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So today is about judgment. You know how we all judge others instantly? I mean, we do. We do. You know, maybe it, maybe this is a day of releasing judgment, you know? Everybody is unique for a reason, right? We all have challenges. It's something to consider, you know. One man's challenge is not the other man's, but that doesn't make anybody better, okay? We all have our vices, right? We do, we do. What do we got for Janu January? January, let's go back to January. Not June. Maybe this does go back to January. Maybe, you know, this day has something to do with something that happened in January. I don't know. June 7th. <laughs> Boy, I'll take a look at that. <laughs> well, this is a union. This is a partnership. This is love. Very compatible. This guy's got something stable, something solid. I mean, he's very loyal, dependable, hardworking. Wise. He holds on to things. He's practical. He's responsible. He's building up his abundance. I think he's thinking about what he has. Who knows? This king of this king of pentacles, you know, he's he He's a hard worker. He is a hard worker. He's very grounded. He's really focused on building something, saving, okay, keeping. He may be working, oh, I don't know, let's get some more cards. This is a, this is a coupling, okay, so, hmm. Seven of Swords. Reverse, getting caught. Somebody may be, I don't know, this is getting caught, and this is a union, maybe, I don't know what that is. Ooh. Death reverse. Somebody's been holding on to a dead end and it's getting old. It is getting old. Judgment reversed. Yeah. You know, somebody may have been unaware. This is self-doubt. This is self-loathing. This is lack of awareness. Lack of speaking the truth. Somebody may have been, you know... Not fully awakened. It's mirroring this king of pentacles. Somebody's been holding on to a partnership that, you know, may have not been compatible and they have a bigger, better opportunity, a bigger, you know, this is a big opportunity. Maybe this guy has been holding on, like I said. So somebody's been holding on to something, a partnership. And they may have been cheating themselves of a new beginning, unaware. 
of a new golden opportunity? This is cheating. Somebody's been cheating themselves of a new beginning, cheating themselves of a new life, cheating themselves of uh, love, holding on to something that, I don't know, something of the past. This is seriously. Somebody's been holding on to a past situation. But it looks like now they're ready to move in a new direction. Ready to leave whatever happened behind and go, go to a better place. So it looks like somebody's moving in a new direction. Letting go of the past hurts. Letting go of the, letting go of the pain. It's like the pain is releasing. They're healing. Somebody is healing. This is a card of forgiveness. Leaving the past hurts. Somebody's leaving the past relationship behind. And I think it's because they have a better one. Maybe they've gotten caught in, in, in love. Like they've fallen in love. I don't know. Ooh, time is of the essence. Time is up. Act now, think later. We got somebody that is moving very, very quickly. It's like following you know, their vision, they got this new vision, they got this new attraction, and they can't stop themselves, I, I, I gotta go after this, right now, we got somebody headed very, very quickly in a new direction, definitely, moving fast, yeah, somebody's been clinging to control, and it's been bringing them bad luck, it's holding on to the dead end, has been bringing them bad luck, it's been bringing them backwards, You know, this is a card of free will and fate and destiny. The wheel is meant to spin for a reason. There's a reason why things end. There's a reason why things, you know, die out of your life, unfortunately. Because there's something better. And I do feel like we got somebody who has a bigger, better option. And they've probably been reluctant to take action. They were holding on to it for some reason. And it's, kept, it's held them back. It's held them back from their true destiny. So we do have somebody that is now not, no longer, I'm taking action. This guy is taking action. He, it's like he wants to go back or he has to go back. He has to take care of something. He left something and he has to go back to it. Or, he, or, or let's get the last card. Yeah, somebody's been enlightened. They were unaware for quite some time. You know, maybe they're still going through a period of enlightenment. We have somebody who may be... Um, had been or is resisting change. You know, not wanting to face the struggle of change, unaware, unaware of, you know, the reason, unaware of the of that holding on to a dead end is just going to not bring them anything good. But I, I feel like, we're going to have to get some more cards. I feel like we have somebody here that um, is starting to have a new outlook. They're starting to see things from a new perspective, perhaps. Let me just make sure this is focused in. I mean, we do have somebody here that I, th I mean, we go from, I mean, if you think about judgment, this is judgment and this is judgment. We go from somebody who isn't awake, that somebody that was making a wrong judgment call by resisting change to you know, somebody that is waking up. That's what judgment is. They get some sort of epiphany. They get some sort of, you know, uh, awakening that I got to take action and let go of this past hurts because there's an opportunity for love here. This is a perfect match. It is. There's these, they mirror each other. This is uh, very compatible. So I think this guy is thinking about what he has to offer, what he can offer, what he wants to hold on to, what he wants to give away, what direction he wants to go in. And he's probably, this here he is thinking about what is the most practical, and here he is taking action. I gotta, I gotta go take, go, go, this is go back. I gotta go back and take care of this, whatever it is. Gotta go take care of something.
Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody's been giving deep, deep, deep thought to a relationship. And they've probably been overly cautious about getting into a partnership or about moving forward or about letting go of the past. They've been very stressed. Somebody has been very, very stressed over it. But now they're moving, they're moving forward. They may be taking baby steps, but I don't know. I don't know. This is, they've come, this is a planning. This is uh, somebody who is very routine oriented. This is somebody who comes up with a plan and comes with something in their hand, comes with something solid, make sure that they have something to offer. Um, we have somebody here that is making a move. And they and this may say act now, think later, but this is a thought out move. Whoever has make is making this move, they've thought about it. This is not some fly by the seat of the pants kind of thing. This guy is very methodical and passionate. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio a couple of times. We have Pisces. We have Leo, we have Aquarius, we have Taurus. And Scorpio, like I said. Oh, and then we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we have everybody. This guy, this this person is I mean, she may be a little intimidating. She may be a little intimidating. She, you know. She speaks her mind. She's very intuitive. She is. She's. She sees. She's got a lot. She sees things clear. Clearly, she has a lot of clarity. Um, and she has the power in her hands. That's the sword of power in her hands. It's like she has the power. She speaks the truth. She says the truth. She's very optimistic. She's very intelligent. She's very intellectual. It looks as though she's looking for, she's looking up. She's looking at the, she may be, she's probably thinking about letting go of something that is going nowhere. She's looking up at this death reversed. She is. She's just like, you know, maybe I got to take my power back, you know, and, and, let go of what I've been holding on to. There, it's not realistic. There's no, there's no forward movement here. Maybe, maybe you know, she's received the clarity after being, you know, in denial. She may have been in denial about it, but now she's seeing clearly that you know I gotta let this go. I'm holding on to a dead end, and it's bringing me backwards. It's getting me nowhere. But we have this guy that looks like he's he's taking action. So maybe he's taking action because she's letting go. She's probably been deceiving herself. You know, she probably sees it as deceit. Maybe she was cheated on. Or maybe she feels like she's been cheated on. I don't know. Could be. Mm. Queen of Cups reversed. So there's there's two people here. I do. There, there's two people. There's 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 probably two... Two options in both directions. And and somebody probably has to make a choice between two people and let, to let go. I mean, they may have to shut down emotionally. You know, I have to close my emotions off to this situation. Because whoever they're dealing with has been resisting change. Somebody has been holding on to a dead end person who is refusing to change, refusing to open up, refusing to speak their truth, refusing to move forward, refusing to open up their heart, refusing to offer love. Somebody's been holding on to basically an unrequited love situation where with a person that was emotionally unavailable in some way, a dead end. And we got this person here that's like, you know, if you can't let this, let it, let it go, if you can't release it, if you can't wake up, if you can't, you know, see the truth of this, then I'm going to have to let you go. She's thinking about making a cut with that sword. Yeah, because there's no growth here. There's no... renewal right there's no happiness holding on to a dead end 
There's no growth. So I think we have somebody here that is making a decision to... Mm. Go after something better. Go after something more solid, more stable, to go down that path. They, this, it's like somebody sees better, a bigger, better option. And they've been in, they've been in a state of repression. They've been in a state of, you know, negative thinking and thinking they knew when they didn't knew, know, you know, with a high priestess reverse. I think we had somebody who didn't have clarity. Seriously, they weren't awake. Somebody was holding on to a dead end thinking that they knew. They may have thought, you know, that's the only one for me, blah, 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 blah. You know, no offense or anything, you know, and they, but they weren't correct. They weren't correct. It's like, it, it was like a lie, okay? It wasn't the truth. It wasn't the truth. And now we got this person that is seeing the situation clearly. You know, I got, I got something bigger, better out here. Maybe this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know. He's got that golden opportunity in his hand. Here's a golden opportunity. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got them all here. Everybody is here. But I think that we have somebody here that is letting go of a situation that there is no more growth. Somebody has been resisting change and they're refusing to change. They're refusing to reconcile. They're refusing to renew a situation. It's like they're refusing to come around. Now this person's like, you know what? I can see something bigger. I can see something better. I want something solid. I want something stable and long term that I can take to the bank. So we have a new a new thing here. This is this is a new opportunity. Somebody is is being or seeing a new opportunity, something actually obtainable, something that they can actually touch, right? somebody has been reluctant they've been reluctant to move on they've been reluctant to head in a new direction you know what it's done it, it, it's caused a loss of self it's caused a loss of um, self-esteem a loss of self-worth a loss of direction you know it's caused somebody to really, really, really go through basically a repression by holding on to this dead end. It hasn't brought any victory. It ha this person hasn't been heading in the right direction. You know, it's been blocking a person from victory and success. It's been blocking a person from abundance from holding on to the dead end. And now we have some, this person is making a decision. Somebody is making a decision to... You know, go after this new new thing. We got this new partner here, or a new opportunity, something more passionate, something more bright. So uh, that's what we got here. We got a passionate new beginning here. It's something that you can actually touch. It's something that you can hold on to. It's something that could lead to something really. I mean, this is long term potential. There's, a, there's, there's, it's a very attractive opportunity. There's a lot of passion. It's, it's like, this is the match. This is, this is it. I got somebody else. This is a new, uh, attraction. So I think we have somebody here that is moving in a new direction. And maybe it's because this person up here has not been making... I mean, this guy is looking out. He's not looking really at this situation. It's like he's holding on. He's This person is holding on to... I don't know what it is. What is this King of Cups holding on to? He's holding on to his offer. Oh, five of Swords reversed. His ego. This is a card of ego. This is letting go of ego. I just want to be happy, though. Five of Swords in reverse. Letting go of the emptiness. And this is letting go of the emptiness. So he's, this guy is holding on to something, but this is really stressed about letting go of the past hurts. Stressed about moving on. Stressed about getting into a new partnership, but does want to be happy. We have a major new beginning here. 
this is this is letting go of the emptiness stepping over the finish line this is a new beginning this is a major new beginning this somebody has learned a lesson of some sort this is a lesson learned one phase is over and it's time to start that next phase one chapter and this was a long-term phase it's like we have somebody here that is about to step into the unknown Letting go of the past hurts. Completing a cycle. We have somebody that is completing a cycle in their life. And they're, they're traveling. This is travel. This is travel. So somebody... This is travel. This is... Somebody's been holding on to a dead-end relationship. This is somebody, you may be dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. Really, the Nine of Swords reversed. You could be dealing with, you may be holding on to a relationship that doesn't have good intentions. Be careful. That's, this is travel. Oh, my God. Knight of Swords, we got the... Somebody's going to come rushing in. Somebody is, is really going to be come rushing in. This person knows what they want. This person probably has money or has stability or, or and is very passionate. This is somebody like... Uh, Moving very, very, very quickly. Basically, is it, this, this guy like sees what he wants and he's going to get it. This is this is an attraction that is undeniable. <sighs> Justice. Justice reversed. This is this is a heaviness in reverse. This is somebody that there's there's indecision here. There's there may and you know as I was looking at this, there could be multiple options here. Okay, we got three knights. Okay, there could be multiple options here on the table. Multiple people in the mix, and this is a heavy decision. Somebody may need to make a decision, and they're unable to make a decision. Things may get a little chaotic. Things may get a little unbalanced. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth as well. I mean, right here and right here. These are both cards of karma. And that. so the, this Wheel of Fortune is too. All three of them are reversed. So there's some karma here. And this is a lesson. So somebody is needing to learn a karmic lesson about integrity or about something maybe somebody is, has learned a lesson about holding on to dead ends I don't know maybe there's a loss because somebody held on to a dead end One more card. We have a new beginning here. Somebody is moving very, very quickly towards another person. It's like there is no time to waste. This is a big, huge opportunity, and it's like they see it. It's like it's an instant attraction. It's an instant desire. This is something I want. They see it, and they want it. So it's like they take action to get it. I want that. This is a very curious energy. This is this is somebody who is very curious, very energetic, sees something and goes after it. Seriously, this person, a curiosity killed the cat, right? So, yeah, I think we got, we got, Somebody that is going to see something bright. They're going to see a, some, a golden opportunity. They're going to, they're, they're going to, you know, 
the curiosity is going to pull them in that direction and they're just going to go for it. They're going to go for it. That's what this is. Go for it. The Ace of Wands is go for it. I think this is going to be like a it's almost like an impulsive thing. Even though this has been thought this guy is a planner, he's he's he is a planner, you know, he's very routine oriented, but he's he's already stabilized. Okay, he's stabilized himself. He's stable, he's solid, he's secure, he's ready. He may not even be thinking when he comes into this, he's he's going somewhere, whatever. He may not even be thinking that he's gonna this is gonna happen. And that's not really who he is, right? He's very practical, he's very solid, he's very stable, he's moved slow, but he sees this. And it looks so good. It does, it looks really good. And he starts that shit goes out the window. So anyway, that's what I see. I feel like, you know, he, he's not generally a quick mover, but this looks so darn good. It really does. This looks so darn good that he can't restrain himself. He can't restrain himself. So he, we got uh, uh, something big here. A new potential partner. And I think it's like an instant attraction. It's instant. What's this for? June 7th. Oh boy. All right. That's what I got for the day. Good luck. I, I, you know, you be, be careful where you go because I feel like this is going to be um, out of your element. Okay. It's not, it's good. It is. I feel like it's going to be out of your element. We don't, and this is be careful. You could, this is be careful. You could end up, you know, this is be careful. That is, too, Seven of Swords. And this person may not be your usual type, and that's why this card came up. I understand that everyone has a unique path and challenges. This person may not be your usual type, but it, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Be careful. You could get yourself in some sort of situation in which you, you know... Go down a new path that you didn't expect to go down. Good luck.